Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. We have the full Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart PC specifications. And what I always like about Sony and their PC game releases, and they've been pretty consistent with this, is that they offer five tiers of system requirements. I've been saying this for years and years, but the antiquated days of just having two tiers of system requirements needs to be completely done away with, and it's nice to see a lot of publishers coming on board with doing this. I know whenever you go on the Steam pages and whatnot um it's still always listed as minimum and recommended but if you actually go to the developer's website their twitter page usually on social media they post something that breaks down uh you know several different tiers of system requirements what to expect there's still games here and there that don't do it but uh it is getting better and better and with ratchet and clank rift apart we have five tiers of requirements and there were a lot of elements of this that i found surprising so let's break down everything and let's start off with minimum so this is 720p at 30 frames per second look you might be on the mindset that 720p 30 fps doesn't matter anymore but it absolutely does because that's around the resolution a lot of people are going to play games on their steam deck as well as on the rog ally i know the ally has a 1080p screen but a lot of people would opt to play games at 720p so 720p 30 fps still very much in um the mix as far as a resolution people are gonna play games at so that is for the graphics settings at very low and uh, the gpu nvidia geforce gtx 960 or an rx 470 cpu i3 8100 ryzen 3 3100 and 8 gigabytes of ram so i am led to believe that this is going to be able to be played uh on the deck as well as on the uh, rog ally as far as what the performance is going to be that remains to be seen, but with these system requirements at minimum, I do uh, expect that to be the case. Obviously, 720p, v uh, very low settings, but nevertheless. Um, also, lastly, probably the most surprising thing across the entire specifications, storage space. 75 gigabytes of HDD space. Now, they do clarify that SSD is recommended, but the fact that they're even at the point where they're going to let you run this game off a hard drive, I am incredibly curious to see how that runs. Um, I think a lot of us had uh, come to the conclusion that everything Sony said about this game with, you need the PS5's SSD to make this game work, or whatever they said about it. Um, I know that is not the exact translation, but they were very gung-ho that Roger and Clang Rift Apart could only be done on the PS5 obviously it's a lot of marketing uh jargon when it comes to that but um nonetheless uh, it being able to run on a hard drive is incredibly surprising to me but uh who knows how that experience is going to be so that's minimum recommended 1080p 60 frames per second that is for medium graphics setting you're looking at an rtx 2060 or, or an rx 5700 i5 8400 or a ryzen 5 3600 and yes 16 gigabytes of ram is recommended and 75 gigabyte ssd speed uh space on that so there you go with that. That is recommended. Then you have the high graphics setting. That's 1440p at 60 FPS or 4K at 30 FPS. You're looking at high graphics preset, uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti or an RX 6800, and then an i5-11400 or a Ryzen 5 5600 and 16 gigabytes of RAM. System requirements as far as, you know, high, this high, 1440p 60 that's not that crazy to me. Like, I don't think a 3060 Ti is too crazy. Although, um, on PlayStation 5, you did have the ray tracing performance option, which I think is the route that most people went, uh, to playing that game. And that game looked really good and played really well when I played it, uh, with that setting on. But nevertheless, this is high, uh, ray tracing not enabled. So, then we have amazing ray tracing. This is 1440p 60, 4K 30, high and ray tracing set to high as well as clarified. RTX 3070, RX 6800X, XT, i5 11600K, and then Ryzen 5 5600X, 16 gigabytes of RAM for amazing ray tracing as well. So that's about what I would expect on that. And then there is ultimate ray tracing, which is 4K 60 frames per second high, and ray tracing set to very high. So I don't know if this is a game that does cap out at high settings. A lot of the times you see, you know, low, medium, high, very high, ultra, um, or at the very least, low, medium, high, and then very high. But um, this might just cap out at high. Uh, with ray tracing set to very high, you're looking at an RTX 4080, a uh, Radeon RX 7900 XTX, an i7-12700K, a Ryzen 9 5900X, and uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that one if you guys are planning on playing uh, the game at 4K60. I imagine most people are either going to be fine settling with high or amazing ray tracing, and it doesn't seem like uh, the performance requirements are too crazy as far as that's concerned, and I think the game is going 
going to look really, really great uh, visually on a PC. As far as games that I've wanted to see on PC from PlayStation, I don't know if this is at the top of my list. Don't get me wrong, I am a homer for Ratchet & Clank, and I've been a Ratchet & Clank fan since I was a kid. Um... But, you know, Ghost of Tsushima, I think, is one that would do really, really well on PC. And Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, it's coming out at $60. Most people are aware that the game is a relatively on the shorter side. So this is a game you can probably complete in 12 to 15 hours, maybe even quicker than that if you're not trying to do everything. So, you know, a $50 price tag, $60 price tag, depending on where you buy it, uh, that might be a little bit hard to stomach for a lot of people. But the fact is, the game is now going to be available on PC, which is great. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to pay the $60 for it or whatever, you can wait for it to go on sale. Like, PlayStation games do for sure hold in value, but eventually, you know, a year from now, I fully expect it to be down to the $25 to $30 range, and at that price point, it's great. You know, there was a time where I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even expected uh, PlayStation titles to come to PC, so the fact that they are coming, like, you can take, like, a victory lap over that. It's just these price points are a little wild. Spider-Man being $60, and that was you know, a four-year-old game, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, easily you can find that on the PlayStation Store on sale for like 30 bucks, and uh, it's available on their subscription service as well, so... You know, as far as how much value you want to take out of it, uh, I do want to note our good friends at Green Man Gaming do have the game 17% off for $49.79. That is a steep discount, given that's, uh, given that's over $10 off. The game uh, does go for $60 on the MSRP. And then, by the way, if you do pre-purchase the game, you do have some bonus early access in-game to the Carbonox armor and the Pixelizer weapon, and the, that is stuff you can unlock throughout just playing the game. You'll just have early access uh, to that as far as the in-game goes. Remember that Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, while obviously it would be good for you to know uh, the other Ratchet titles, you can still enjoy the gameplay, you can enjoy the narrative. Uh, this one does add a little bit of, um, you know, an added layer to it, given that it has the inclusion of Rivet, uh, another character that has been introduced in this frame, uh, in this series, uh, and then also Kit. Um, so yeah, you do have some other gameplay styles, but for the most part, it's the Ratchet and Clank gameplay that you'll know and love, and if you've played it in the past, you know, the platforming's great. Obviously, a little bit of a bigger budget given that it's on PlayStation 5 and the dimensional the dimensional traversal and whatnot is done fairly well so I'm really looking forward to the game. It would have been nice, much like Uncharted, had they have put uh, Ratchet Trilogy, or if they created like a future trilogy, just to get people into the franchise and get it that you can emulate the PS2 Ratchet title, so it's not that big of a deal, but uh, yeah, I digress. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting, but as always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.